How are you all? How are you? I'm good. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Rachel had dental work done today. Four. And at the post office, she fell. Did I don't have it on fall? tape, unfortunately. Did you fall? Outside of the post office, walking back to the car, I ate it. <laughs> and we, we had a run-in with this horrible woman. We, we walked in with our stuff, and uh, the line was in the lobby, because it's, you know, it's the day after holiday. And she goes, the line's back there. And I said, we're not in line. We have, we, it's, it's all done. We're using the machine. No, Mom. Horrible woman. Did you trip on something? Yeah, no. she tripped on air. I just lost my balance. You just lost your balance. How did you fall okay. forward? Or back? Yeah. Ooh. Completely face oh down in the street. Ouch. Okay, so we got a box. Oh, I, box. I love a box. We got a box from okay. our friend Sean, who likes us, loves Back to the Future, Okay. and is a cool guy, and I'm going to show you what he got us. I'll open the box here. He got us some packing. All right, go over here. All right. These are classics. Oh. What about Bob with Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfus? Fun. This is a great movie. Air America with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, look at that. Look at how handsome he is. Oh my gosh, I love Robert Downey Jr. I want to marry that I man. saw What About Bob in the theater. I saw um, Air America in the theater. I love Robert Downey Jr. Mel Gibson. So pretty. Those are both really his, solid his, comedies. His name? Yes. Robert Downey. This features a scene where Robert Downey Jr., as a joke, they put a harness around him and lift him up in the air and fly him around the city, and he really did it. Of course he did. It's Robert Downey Jr. And this is a your mom's favorite, Less Than Zero, with Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Oh my God, I love oh, that see. man this is him so his much. Best. His best. Let's no, see. No, he is always Read at it. his best, guys. In a spellbinding dramatic performance. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> comma Iron Man. <laughs> oh, so it's a new version. New version. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Portrays Julian, a Beverly Hills brat who has it all. Looks, charm, looks, smart, mm -hmm. a witch father, and a drug habit. That too. And a suit of iron to fight His, crime. But he's so pretty. His friend and girlfriend, Andrew McCarthy and Jamie Jorts, are trying to help. But Julian's world is crumbling so fast, he might as well take them with him. The result is a powerful and compelling story oh, I'm of so three excited. kids who started out with everything and are about to wind up with less than zero. <gasps> Robert, with Robert Downey Jr. Roger Ebert gave it four stars. The performances are flawless. I this love is that man. Based, because he wasn't acting. I, he was this is based on the novel by Brett Eston Ellis who would go on to write American Psycho. I want to see that. And uh, I saw that in the theater opening day. And you know what? We all walked out pissed. Why? Because it's a movie about guys who have everything and throw it away for drugs. And for us nerds who didn't do drugs, we're like, man, if we just had that kind of money. And but he's so pretty. It's a, it's a very well done movie. And he's great in it. He's pretty. I love him. I want to marry him. He's very pretty. Now this is one of my favorites. And I do not own this movie. I don't own any of these. But this one, I've tried to find. It's it's part of the uh, Vault series, which means I think the only way to get this is to order it for directly from Universal, and they make it for you. Wow. This is the unofficial sequel to Fast Times at Ridgemont High. This is the movie that starred Eric Stoltz and Leah Thompson the year before Back to the Future. Oh. When they cast Leah Thompson, they wanted Eric Stoltz because... I was waiting for the, the connection to Back to the Future in some yeah. way. Written by Cameron Crowe. Oh, it says also featuring Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid plays... You, 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 okay, you don't know that... Do you remember that line I always say when we're somewhere that they have crazy stuff and I go, Cinnamon roll I got a friend who's a Vietnam vet. That's I right. should bring him down here to see this, some of this shit in here. That's from that movie. I quote this movie all the time. I had this movie on beta. Oh, this has That's the beta, guy I, I like in it. Chris Penn, when he was thin. Yes. He's the lead. Rest in pieces. Oh, did he die? Yeah, he passed away. That's Loved awkward. Him. Poor guy. He was my favorite. It also kid. has, um, what's her and name? Michael her name is one. Jenny. What would you have known the rest of the brothers from? They're all famous. One is the most Sean famous Penn? Ever. They the don't know. 
a famous More famous singer. than Michael Robert Penn? Downey Jr.? Well, no, I Sean Penn has an Oscar. Pretty big, sweetie. Robert Downey Jr. Okay, so Wildlife is... is okay, Fast and Richmond High is about a year in high school. The Wildlife is what you do after you graduate. Which one's Marty McFly? This was the one I love right here. No, Eric Stoltz was Marty McFly, and then they fired him. Yeah, I'm saying, which one's he? Oh, I love Eric Stoltz. I'll know him right away. <laughs> right here, redhead. Gorgeous. I was going to say he was the cutest one yeah. in the box. Yeah. I think and the ones are ugly. I love the poster. This is the poster for the movie. You're looking down at the car. But you can't see Eric um, Stoltz in this as your first movie of him. Why not? She needs to see Mask. To see... No, oh, Mask is good, though, but not as a first movie. No, she needs to see, um... oh, my God, I'm having a brain. I'm in a brain. The drummer girl. Some kind of wonderful. That's the one. That's the next movie. With Leah Thompson. I don't like her. <laughs> it's all about Mary Sue. Now, there's some Mr. trivia, and I'm sure that Sean knows this as well. There's a scene where he, uh, uh, Chris Penn, goes to see his girlfriend after she's told him she don't want to see him. So he peeps on her as she's changing. That's not very nice of him to do that. A lot of guys peep. That's the plot of Back to the Future. I remember him. He used to be in a lot of movies. That's Ian Ian Mitchell Smith from Weird Science. That's the one. None of those guys are cute except for Mr. No, this one's really cute. No, definitely not. His hair makes him look like the kid. He lives in Long Beach. Okay, let me finish my anecdote. Talking about the cute boys. The anecdote is when he's peeping on his... Oh, these people. This is my life. When he's peeping on the girl, she throws him out the window. Good. And he he falls to the ground. But as he falls, Uh they play Van Halen. And it's the same exact guitar riff that Marty uses to wake up George in Back to the Future. Isn't that great? And I remember when I... I'll stop the world and melt with you. This is a much more interesting topic. I'm just saying. This is the cutest boy around. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Rachel and I have to watch The Wildlife. We do? Yes. Wow. You will lose your mind. There's a scene in there where they take Eric Stoltz to a strip club. Okay. Where the guy says, you know, this line where he goes, I know a guy who went there and he got a steak and a woman and he put them both on a credit card. And then he looks over and the guy is rolling a joint. And what does he do, Rachel? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's from that? It's from this movie. Oh, that's- Yes, we do it all the time. Inside story. Eric Stoltz. Inside joke. The wildlife. Family. Sean, this is a gem. I am so proud to have this in my collection. Well, this is a gem. I too. love this Robert movie. Robert Downey Jr. I, it's, it's weird how many times I watch this movie and quote it. It's a movie nobody even knows. When I go when when I go to a donut store and you go, have a maple ball, brother. They're fresh. We need to show off the Downey Shrine. It's my favorite part of the living Okay. Room. Let's you know also add Zodiac, starring Robert Downey Woo! Jr., oh, let me see directed oh by David gosh. Fincher. What's that? Is this scary? It's about a serial killer. This is, this is but the they don't with, catch the serial uh, killer. Mark Ruffalo and Jake Gyllenhaal in it, which is all of the Marvel guys. Yeah. Okay, let me am, am, Based okay. on the true story it's about of the, the Zodiac killer. About the notorious serial killer and the intense manhunt he inspired, Zodiac this is a super really cool. bly crafted thriller. From the director of Seven and Panic Room, featuring an outstanding ensemble cast led by Jake Gyllenhaal, Period. Robert Downey Jr., Woo! Mark Ruffalo, Woo! and Chloe Sevigny. Oh, <laughs> Sevigny. 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 Okay. Zodiac is a ceiling. She was the wife on haunting Big Love. Examination of twin obsessions. One man's desire to kill, and another's is quest so to Robert Downey Jr. Who's a killer? Yeah. Spoiler alert, the Zodiac Killer was never caught. Yeah, well, there's oh, no yeah. Zodiac yeah. Killer in the movie. No, it's a true story. Well, who's Robert Downey Jr. playing? He's a reporter. Oh. Or a cop. Is he a cop or a reporter? I don't know. Is it still unsolved to this day? What's that? Yeah, Is it still unsolved to this day? Uh, no, the, there was a, a, young, a young woman who came forward and basically said it was my dad. Okay. Oh, so they pretty much caught the Zodiac Killer. They didn't catch him. He died. It's like how we she, never figured out what the little thingies were. She had he was no. They, they, they just recently yeah, they did. They deciphered that. Yeah, they put it in a computer, and the computer spat out the answer. That's it told us fine. the zodiac's um, message and where to find one of the golden tickets. Get back to me when we find out who BD Cooper was. Uh, he was BD Cooper. Uh, Zodiac is good. It's directed by David Fincher, who also directed Fight Club. Robert it Downey features 
uh, some of the most extensive CGI sets, Austin, where oh. most of the movie does not exist. That's crazy. Yeah. Here's, here's my fun That's fact really of nice trivia. Um, there's another one. Jake Gyllenhaal. Last dated one. Dated Taylor Swift. Oh. Wow, it's Christmas up there. And it's here. a double pack of Uncle... Oh, triple pack. Uncle Buck, The Great Outdoors... And going berserk with John Candy. Okay, oh. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, John Candy. Okay, we like him. He's both I love John half Candy. man, half dog. He's his own uh, best friend. His own best friend. Uh, it I'm says, Buck Melanoma. <clears throat> oh, it's one summary. In Uncle Buck, the great outdoors, and going berserk, Candy brings his lovable characters his last name really face candy? to face with yes. wise cracking kids battling oh, in laws right? and freakish cults. He died young, yeah. Okay, I, I'm going to guess young. what each one, because it, it only gives you three things. Okay. Right? So the wise cracking kids is probably going berserk. Uh, battling in-laws is probably Uncle Buck. And freakish cults is probably the great outdoors. Now nah, you're wrong on all counts. Wrong. <laughs> Can I see it? Is Uncle <laughs> Buck the one about the, the kids? Oh, yeah, you'll like Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck's with Macaulay Culkin. That's where he was Actually, discovered. Yes. He has to have his glasses. He can't see you without his glasses. Just do that to me. Wow, that hurts. Nice. So thank you, Sean. This is Johnny great. Jr. Thank you. I love they will Robert be Johnny Jr. proudly added to the DVD archives here. And the shrine. And the shrine of Robert Downey Jr. movies. Over here we have a cabinet. This cabinet here is all Robert Downey Jr. movies. And we discovered we were digging the other day. Wait, how did you not have this one? I'm so glad that we do now. I you know okay. I buy these movies at thrift stores. My movies. I rarely buy them new. And Less Than Zero does not show up at thrift stores. Really? Most of these movies, are these are not thrift store movies. Why would you donate them? Thrift store movies yeah. are Harry Potter, um, Mighty Ducks. I mean, what movies do we see every, uh, every single, single time, time we go? Yeah. Twilight. I need to go check the cinnamon rolls. Yes, yeah, so they're going to All right, we're having cinnamon rolls, and we're going to watch a movie. So Woo! I can't wait to watch... Less Than Zero with you. With Robert Downey Jr. And The Wildlife with you. And Uncle Buck. I'm Buck Melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Rachel, yeah. what's the theme song to Less Than Zero? I don't know. You don't know? Time, time, time. Oh. See what's become of me. I have to go see the, the cinnamon rolls are burning. The cinnamon rolls are burning. Oh, yeah, no, you can't do that. You got to take them out. They look delish. You did it. Who wants a cinnamon roll? Who wants a cinnamon roll? Rachel is panicking with the cinnamon rolls. Where is it? Where All is right. it? Oh, Where's Minutemen? Where is Minutemen? Okay. We're going to watch. What are we going to watch? We're going to watch Pocahontas. And how do we know that? <laughs> Your mother Can got. Can we watch Lemonade Mouth? I love Lemonade Mouth. We're watching Pocahontas. You're going to get some uh, some history in your life. History like with a with a playful raccoon and a talking tree. Of course. See what's oh. become of me. While I looked around for my possibility, Robert Downey Jr. Still the same. Okay, Thursday night finds us in line at Savers. We're we're waiting to go in. You can't go in the store here because they're at capacity. So we have to wait for people to leave. Oh, and we, we know her. She's very nice. She works here. <laughs> and we're by the Popeyes. That's wonderful. I'll smell that all day. We actually went in there one time to buy dinner, and then we walked right out because yeah. it was too expensive. I'm hungry. Well, I've had half a slice of pizza today. Here's the thing, right? It may not look like it because we're three minutes from home, but this is L.A. County. We yeah, cross we cross county. county line, yeah. So the sales tax goes through the roof. What are we doing for dinner? Taco wing. Taco ring. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. And you're going to watch oh, Back to the Future or no? Let's look, we're on, we're on look podcast, at the looks I get. We're on show. Let's talk about Kipo and the age Kai. of the Wonder Beasts. We're only two episodes Rachel's in. watching Cobra Kai. We're on season three. Halfway done. We're watching Kipo and the age of the Wonder Beasts. What does Johnny Lawrence... Maybe it'd be good stress when we were Rachel, what does Johnny Lawrence say? Huh? Oh, I thought you just meant what he was. Um, what does he say? He says, quiet! 
I love that man. Billy Zabka from Just One of the Guys, Karate Kid. Austin and I are watching a cartoon together. It's like amazing. Like we have many times. It's from the same team that gave us Bold Fod, so Which we loved and then proceeded to hate. Yeah, so it will probably disappoint us. We're prepared for it down I'm prepared for Kipo to go and then straight down. Yeah. I'm prepared for it to the, la it. the last episode will plummet without a doubt. But we're enjoying the ride. But right Did now, the music is really good in the show. It is great music. Did you see when we came in, there was a furry at the front of the line? Was there really? Yeah. That's funny. I wing them up sometimes at Target. They have the face masks with the animal mm -hmm. on it. Animal ears, animal tail. Yeah. Oh, what was I going to say? Kipo. Look Look at this pin. Kipo. Wh which one? I love RDJ. I do love RDJ. I, w I would I say love that man. Random disc jockeys? No. I said Ghibli. I think it's very Ghibli, right? Um, a little bit. The, the, the talking animal character. The frog guy makes me think of the guy that goes. Is super long uh, this, this is a let's, guy. let's see. Wait, let's see how long the line is. Oh, yeah, it goes all the way down. Wow. All the way down. It spewed it away. Wow. A frog man. Frog man. Carrying a plate of food. Yeah. And he goes, it's not spicy enough. We love that guy. Yeah. The other one, the guy goes, this guy's giving out free gold. Mm -hmm. The villain of this is a frog mafia. So they're frog mobsters. And they're great. They're very scary characters. No, I think they're great. Is Spirited Away one of the most popular movies Ever. That, has, yeah. that has a nonsensical plot? Yes. Yes, it is. That makes no, yeah, I don't get it at all. The guy can turn into a dragon and there's like a bathhouse and my brain hurts. <laughs> yeah. It's not my why. favorite Ghibli though. I like Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah, it is a fantastic movie. That is Castle in the Sky. Dad, have you ever seen Howl's Moving Castle? No, I've been told to watch it many times. You would love it because it's some of the best steampunk Yeah, that's what I've been told. And I have uh, the Blu-ray of Princess Mononoke, but I don't have never seen Moving Princess Castle. Mononoke. I like the big robot guy, Castle in the Sky. You know that country? Is that just a swingin'? Yeah. But yeah, no. You would love Howl's Moving Castle, because the castle... Oh, the castle... I miss honkies honks. ...is kind of this big oh, mechanical robot thing. And as it's moved, like, thousands of little gears torn. It's just yeah, amazing. It's also not, they have a door that can lead anywhere. Is it like uh, Mortal Engines? That great movie that came out that nobody <laughs> yeah. watched? It does look like I Mortal didn't see it, so yes. I don't know. They will probably inspire. There's I think uh, Ryder with her Kaiser Permanente mask. It's comfortable. Okay. Yep. You lost it, and then we had, we actually found we it in the car. It, another one. I genuinely cried. I was so upset. But we, then we found it. We tried to get one at the hospital. They, they wouldn't. wouldn't they wouldn't give it to us. I saw something new at Target, Austin. Well, I saw the Ecto-1. Oh, what do you think of it? Uh, well, it looks cheap, and the box looks really cheap. Yeah, and is, can you tell it doesn't work with the figures by looking at yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a car. It's yeah. no different than Jada. And then I saw these um, Transformer figures that don't transform. They're like in a little pose. Oh, jeez. They're not by Hasbro. They're by some other company. I think Jada's making those. They look, they look cheap is what yeah. they look like. So I didn't... Because, you know... Hasbro is making non-transformable, oh. transformable action figures. Yeah, no, I did see, I actually took an item from the collectible section, I took it to the scanner to scan, and I didn't buy it. Huh. They have Bill and Ted 2-pack animated. Oh, those are fun. It was really cool. Is something they haven't made? Figure or Bill figure? Both of them one? together. No, like they're not, they're not figures. Oh. They're statues. But they have guitars and everything. But they were 26. I was like, that seems too high. Yeah. Are they NECA? NECA, yeah. NECA. And they also had um, uh, Ace, Vin uh, Ace Ventura. Say, it was supposed to be Ace Yeah, Ventura they had Ace Ventura. Now. I'm not sure what happened. Those were announced two years ago at Toy Fair. And they were one wave. It was the Back to the Future, Marty and Doc, Ace Ventura, and Bill and Ted all together. Yeah, well, there, there was a delay somewhere. And they got split up into different licenses. Yeah. The Bill and Ted set was great. I, I, if it was my, I was thinking twenty bucks. If it was twenty bucks, I would have bought it. I hope they make animated Seymour from Little Shop. Yeah, that'd be good. with with Audrey too. <laughs> Nobody remembers that. Nobody. There's a remake, so why not? But the animated show. Yeah, well, people they they make the animated because it gets them around like likeness like. Yeah. And Rick Moranis is probably not going to sign up on anything. I guess you could argue that nobody likes the animated. Back to the Future show, really? It's right, but they, but they have figures. But we're all just hoping they make the car. 
yeah. which wasn't really a car. It was like a half car. <laughs> you know, the NECA shows off a lot of stuff at Toy Fair that doesn't make it. How, how about animated uh, 70s Star Trek figures? Yes. With Kirk uh, doing the yeah. meme pose. And the cat lady. Yeah, they should yeah, make those. those. They've never done that, have they? We're still in line here. We're almost to the front, and the line goes all the way back. That's brilliant. That's a way to sell the Trek crew again. Yeah. Because they've made a lot of those. I bought a box of uh, Star Trek model kits at the spot. Oh, uh, but you don't do model kits. Come They're all together. built. Oh, okay. I just have to hang them from the ceiling. Oh, I'm trying to imagine you in the garage, like, gluing little kids together. No, I, I made a shirt for your mother today with marker. And then I gave Josie the markers. Thank you. What? Marker set. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're not going to make it recording to get in. It's too long. Here we are. Here we sit. We wait. Here we stand. Look at that sunset. That's beautiful. It's pretty. Looks like Grand Theft Auto loading screen. Yes, it does. Oh, here we go again. I'm at 7-Eleven getting some gas, and I see the saddest thing ever. Oh, no. It never rains here, and yet it's raining. Okay, we're at Target where they have Baby Yoda. He's going to show us some of his force powers. Not the good one, though. The good one is coming up. There it is. And, yeah, what on earth is happening? What kid wouldn't want to play with that? Dad's paper goods going to get misted? You're okay. going to get misted. I don't mind getting misted. I'm just concerned about Look the at this. Goods. She's got dolls today. I love dolls. At the swap meet. Fifteen dollar American Girl dolls because her leg is all broken, but can still be fixed. And she's I don't want to play with a broken there. American Girl doll. And I got three. You like that? I wish the vents were the other way so you could climb up. Oh yeah. I scored. Austin got a Vegas Beanie Baby. Very happy. Oh <laughs> look at that thing. We love Vegas. Vegas. How do we make it Vegas? We could stitch something. No, 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 no. Attach a giant felt Vegas logo on it. It's a grid on the underside there. Yeah. This looks like Star Wars architecture. <laughs> looks like we're like the Sith meets to have their uh, financial meetings. I'm so excited. The Death Star's running dangerously over budget. I'm back to the car and I get pain medicine. I'm going to keep the person. I don't know why this is riveting footage, you guys. You're talking about your teeth. I'm just thinking about chicken wings in my mouth. Yeah. Where are we headed next? Wing stop. Yeah. I'm going to take a lot of pain pills and they'll be able to eat. It'll be wonderful. Can't wait. I'm Which of these ugly buildings do you like the most, Luna? Oh, Each one is uglier than the next. I think I look like at this. Look at this one. This one here. Yeah, but that one too. Oh. I like the the front curve there on those those windows. I want to go up there. What is that? Is it, didn't they eat lunch there? It's the science math building. Oh well, yeah, but look at wow. that. I don't think window. science math people eat. You figure? <laughs> that one is too much glass. Too much glass. Although the all glass one is nice. This one here. College is such a prettier campus. The pink, the pink trees. So the, I like this alley here too. The gothic historical hundred-year-old building. Yeah. No, 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 no. I could work at this college. We are sister school. We are related, but I do not want to. This is closer to. We Paso. found Waldo's girlfriend. What? I said we found Waldo's girlfriend. See the hat? Oh, haha. Uh -huh. There's windows up there, but if you're inside, you couldn't possibly see anything. No, out of no. That is a very dark building. Yeah. I think that's the gym. That's the gym. Yeah. Whoa! Lots of wow. That security's right there. You think they'll go after him? Oh, no. We above me, okay. Our governor says me above we. <laughs> like how he did that? Me, we above me, Austin. Mm -hmm. 
Do you put your video game console above yourself? What? We above me. I'm tired. I want coffee. That was a good quality joke. I, I, I mean, you know, you know, you know, cup of coffee sounds nice. I got okay. Put me on the camera the back. I, I spent money on myself. I never do. What, what your me, Vegas I'm beanie? You're no, crowing about your Vegas beanie? I bought the good coffee. Oh, the good coffee at home. Caribou coffee. Caribou. Oh my is it God. better than that loaded know. gun coffee you got at the no, it isn't. Bass it isn't. Pro it isn't. Shop? What's that called? Freedom Roast. Freedom Roast is so good. My Black Rifle Coffee Company. That stuff. You know why I like that so much? Because it's so bitter. It is like actually coffee you would be served at boot camp. Flavorless, stale, bitter coffee. And that you like. And I love it. It's as bitter as some of the women I dated before I met your mom, <laughs> and that's bitter. The the caribou coffee, it, it calls itself the, the coffee of the north. It's like something you'd have in like Fargo, North Dakota, right, to, to warm yourself. So it's very soft, but it's kind of got this bitter aftertaste. So it kind of keeps you warm for a bit afterwards. Put a little gin in it. Does that make any sense? A little whiskey in it? Uh, Brandy? Maybe for horse. I don't know. What do you put in coffee? If you know what uh, liquor to put in coffee, comment down below. I drink it raw. I like just the plain coffee bean taste. And yes, yes, there is a difference between them all because... Uh, There's the amazing uh, Fullerton College, oh no, no Cypress College trash uh, art. It's very nice. Look like that. Our school is beautiful, sir. Do you know what, um, what makes coffee good or not is the... Medium 2, the sequel. Yeah, this is the sequel. It's even the, better. Uh, the ratio of coffee bean to water. So, if, uh, if you buy a cup of coffee that's really cheap and it tastes kind of okay, it's because there's more water and less coffee bean uh, versus... A good example is uh, Arby's, actually. If you've ever bought coffee at Arby's, you know, like the sandwich place, it's like $4 a cup. And I was like, why is this so expensive? And it's really good coffee because Arby's uses mostly cocoa beans and a little bit of water. This Contrast, is the... Uh athlete entrance for summer 2020 um that's yeah that i don't think that happened you play basketball because normally in the summer when we come basketball, basketball and volleyball basketball players always in there uh versus Boko king if you ever gone to Boko king their coffee's 50 cents and here's the thing uh you don't want to know it's 90 percent water and like two coffee beans yep. so you're really drinking flavored water Not that I didn't drink it. A lot of my Fullerton college days, I survived on 49 cent Burger King coffee. Me and mom would go through the drive thru every day and get us big cups, right? Yep. Mom, what would you say is the best coffee? Like food wise? Yeah, it's best coffee if you're gonna drive somewhere to get a cup of coffee. Definitely not Starbucks. I hate that coffee. Oh, I love it. It's nice and brittle. Um, See, Starbucks does all cocoa bean, a little bit of water. There, nobody beats 7 Eleven. Yeah, 7 Eleven's very good. The she flavor is really great. Good. And they all taste different. Like blueberry and hazelnut. Hazelnut, oh. yep. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yep. And it's holiday time, pumpkin spice. It's all good there. Yeah, they do have a good pumpkin spice. We still have people trying to buy pumpkin spice. We had a mobile order coming yesterday, okay, and they, outside. from their phone, ordered an eggnog. Ew. Almost February. You guys need to bring back the cherry mocha. Yes, that was good. I think pumpkin spice coffee is a novelty. It kind of tastes like an old candle, you know? That's your mom's original license plate. Me and Jay forever. Oh, great. Well, I like raspberry. Are we down this aisle? I hear us. Car's talking to us. No flash, he was stolen. Rain really cleaned the car up. All right. Now do I stop recording to help load or do I get yelled at if I try to load? You need to stop. Cause you gotta load it in a way that you know that the wheels are wet. Oh, we need this bag to put stuff in. Oh, is there another bag? We might need more. Luna's escaping. He knows this is where the, the yelling good. starts. What about this box? Does it matter if it gets wet? No, okay. I don't care. Let's get that in there. You're going to help me off. Yep, yes I am. Together we can do this. Open this up. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why don't you put the dolls in there and we'll put them on last on top. 
Put him in the back seat. Better yet. Dolls go in the back seat. Yeah, go in the back seat. I'll take care of them. Ain't no one gonna touch those ladies under my watch. That is the best stuff we bought. It only happened to it. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's do miscellaneous. There's somebody stuff. waiting for our spot. And look how far out we are. are they really? They're gonna be waiting a minute. Look how far out we are. And also, can't just be shoved. It's so fragile. This our pick thing is adorable. Yep. Okay, now we need to switch bags for a minute. All the paper goes need to go in here. My dad with his papers. Look at them all. Aren't they gorgeous? What are they? I don't know. What does it matter? Newspapers, folders. Have you bought a filing cabinet? If I had the right, if I had a buyer, yeah. You need a filing cabinet. Oh, I thought you meant like a file cabinet full of papers that somebody was trying to sell me. No, you need that folder. For the garage, you need filing cabinets. That groovy one. Okay, we're almost to the bottom of the paper cut. Oh, okay, let's put it in. Do they go in first, Jeff? I don't care where it goes. Don't treat it like gold. It's not gold yet until I figure out what it is. Then it it's important. Oh, these are dad's condiment dispensers. Open that Condiment thing. ketchup oh, gun. Good. Show me the box. Look at that thing. Oh, you said this goes last the because the stuff is so fragile. No, I'm just trying to put more stuff in it. This is the only thing fragile. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. I'm Open ready up, to put ketchup thing. on my hamburger with this and my hot dog. There's the popcorn thing. Hey, take me to Toontown. You, take me to Toontown today. It looks like a flare gun. Okay, it. it also looks like Eddie Valiant's gun from Roger Rabbit. All right, bye everybody. Hey, we just got back from the swap meet and I thought I'd show off some of the uh, nonsense that I bought. They're always laughing at me at what I buy because it's nonsense, but I bought a box of papers and I knew that there was a lot of it that I wanted, but there was a lot of it I didn't even look at. So I don't know until I get home what it is. So this is a blue chip stamp catalog. If you remember blue chip stamps, the difference is that it's they didn't leave the catalog intact. Instead, whoever owned this cut out photos of face exercises and taped them in. I, I don't know why you would need this, but... If you ever wanted to learn how to do the victory lift, number one, the victory lift number two, or the neck stretch, this is how you do it. And this kind of looks like Shelly Winters. Is that Shelly Winters? I don't think it is. You know, it, may, it could be. Maybe it is Shelly Winters. I, we'll never know. I have no idea. But uh, the graphics are great. Too bad that they taped all over it with face exercises. Here's a Vogue from early 70s I'm not sure who that supermodel is this was one of the pieces I wanted this is the Nile look at that great 70s art it looks like these do this art for uh, TV guide and board games but this is a press kit from the Jacques Cousteau Cousteau Odyssey all about his new special coming up on the Nile. This is a press kit with two photos and a lot of text. And it's going to air on KCET Public Television. I don't know when it's going to air. Probably late 70s. But uh, that's probably worth something. That's one of the reasons I bought the box. It's not going to get me my $20 back, but it's going to put me closer to it. This is a nice folder. I've discovered that old school folders are actually worth a lot of money these days. People are really into re reconnecting their youth. Mostly 80s, of course. This is uh, dress making stuff. It's not worth anything. But it is it is a Mead product, which is a legitimate. And it's not drawn on. Normally these are always drawn on, but that one's not drawn on. Here is a folder from UCLA. You can tell it's old because it was only 80 cents. It belonged to Rosalita Martinez. Where are you, Rosalita? I bought all your schoolwork. No idea. This is Creating with Fabric Yo-Yos. 
Uh, yeah, that'll go right in the trash. Here is the American Ballet Theater. Uh, it's a program or a magazine. I can't tell which. To look that up, I have no idea. Here is the Doyle Carte Opera Company. Another program. Gilbert and Sullivan. Here is the Stuttgart Ballet. A lot of ballet stuff. I didn't even know this was in here. Just complete shock that it's even here. This is a production of the Mikado. That's a very uh, popular. Gilbert and Sullivan. I'd have to do some research to figure out what uh, date this was presented. The Mikado. And here we have Shakespeare's The Tempest. The Performing Arts Group. Do we know what date? Then they used to... Oh, here it is. 1979. June 79. The Tempest. And we got... Uh, Impressionist and Post-Impressionist Painting from the USSR. 1973. L.A. County Museum of Art Program. We invite you to the Museum of Art. Here is a man who said he needs a meal. He really needs a meal, this guy. Postcard. Da Vinci. See, somewhere in here is the code. I just have to break it. Ballet News. There's Alexander Gudinov. Do you know this guy? You should. He's the guy from Die Hard that gets uh, hanged from the chain. The one that Al shoots at the end. There he is before his... Big screen debut. This is 80, so it's eight years before Die Hard. This is uh, 1979 Apartment Life. Ali McGraw's at home teaching you how to live your apartment life. What an odd magazine. Look at that. That was my first car right there. Bright yellow MG Roadster. I love that car. I only got to drove it, drive it twice before a, a guy hit it and destroyed it. It was parked at the time, destroyed. This was one of the reasons I bought it. This is a vintage UCLA folder that has never been used. It's uh, 45 cents. It's a dandy. And it's in mint condition. And there's six of them. So I can get my $20 back, no problem, because these are 10 to 15 or more a piece. And that's why I buy boxes of stuff people think is garbage. Here's an LA Weekly from 83. This will be interesting because uh, of the ads. I'll have to check out some of the ads in there. It's just random papers. Looks like a pattern. This is 1983. Another LA Weekly. There's an ad for approved food processors. Remember when these were a big deal? My mother was so excited to get her food processor. She was going to make stuff with it. I don't this just seemed like a, use, a useless tool, although this does look like the Mr. Fusion, because that's how my brain works. Here's Rose Martinez, booklets from Arco. Did she work at Arco? A Gallon Watcher's Guide to Gas. Look at that. Car care is not for men only. And here's a nice lady working on her car. This stuff is very collectible. I can get 7 or $8 a piece for these, which doesn't sound like a lot, except I paid 20 for the whole box. So seven or eight dollars a piece is where I end up making all my money. You know, you're in it for the long game. You can do really well on ephemera because I do really well. This is from May 1975. Defensive driving. Here's the road test score sheet. This is all about getting your your license. Here's a student workbook. Driving schools do a better job, and eventually we're all going to be driving that. They said. And here's the full workbook, how to get your learner's permit at the Safeway School of Driving, the Sears Driving. Yeah, this stuff's great. It's very collectible, especially automobile stuff, which is great because I don't collect it. So I, you know, selling it's no big deal to me. The Sunny Side of Energy, the Road to Conservation, the Arco Energy Diet, Alaska Oil, and the Environment. Yeah, this stuff's great. All this uh, automobile stuff. What is this one? Getting the job done. Women at Arco. I'm going to guess Rose got a job with Arco, or at least 
pursued getting a job at Arco. Here is another school folder. This is uh, some sunflowers here. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Look at this. Where, I had it right the first time. Saddlebags portfolio. Oh, look, they open. It has like these little interlocking uh, papers. Oh, yeah, this is great. I bet this is worth at least 20 bucks. You laugh, but this school supply stuff is gold because somebody out there remembers that this was their favorite folder. They wrote on it. They scribbled on it, and they destroyed it. And now they'll be able to get it as if it had never been used, courtesy of the guy like me who's able to go out and dig in boxes of trash. Here is some sort of photocopied guide to something. Oh, ballet. See, this is not worth anything. This is just junk. Here we have more papers, more ephemera. We have Employment Development Department, how to get your unemployment check. Unemployment insurance. Uh, this stuff's not valuable at all. This is just all her paperwork for, I guess, lost a job. Here's like, oh, warranties. Yeah, just junk. A lot of this stuff just ends up getting recycled. Here's some, another workbook of some sort. It's not worth anything. Here's a UCLA, but it's been written in, so it's not worth anything. Rose wrote in all her notebooks. Didn't write in her folders, thank you, but wrote on her paperwork. 1964, I moved from New Mexico to California to help mother pay some bills and to save money to buy a car. I estimated this would take about three years. Then I was determined to go back to New Mexico about three or four months after I am here, mother moved out. Oh, well, she moved here to help her mom, and mom moved out. Trying to talk to you is like trying to talk to my something captors. I don't know what's going on. This might be evidence in something. No idea. And here we have uh, more photocopies. Standards and procedures for advanced degree manuscript presentation. Preparation. I have no idea how to use a typewriter. And then we have uh, some old Saturday Evening posts, which, you know, if you go to a yard sale, people think this stuff's collectible, but it's worthless. I donate this stuff to savers. Maybe there's a senior citizen out there who wants to relive while looking at uh, is it Henry Kissinger. Why would you put Henry Kissinger on the front? Look at that mug. Look at that mug. I have to show off this. I got this at the swap meet for a dollar. This looks like a plastic rat. But Austin let me know this is actually a Star Wars item. This is a Womp Rat that came with the Homestead playset. Very obscure piece of Star Wars toy. And this has sold on eBay for $40. So I'll probably sell it for $35 and almost make $35 in profit on it, which is crazy. Oh, there's more over here, folks. I forgot. There's some more papers. There's some newspapers here. Uh, I'm not really into old newspapers, but if, they, if the movie section is in here, then that's really cool because you can look up the movies. I, I like to collect them, especially if they're 85 and I can get back to the future ones. Here are some more UCLA folders. What do we have, like nine of these now? And there's just clippings of animals and here's some dogs. Who knows? Here's... Uh, a UCLA one that's very used and full of paper. See, this isn't anything. Here she is, Rosalita Martinez. She lived on Normandy Avenue in Los Angeles. What happened to you, Rose? And then this is a um, Hang 10 folder. And I looked, this is the one of the ones that swapped me that caught my eye because it's just crammed full of craziness cutouts. So I'll have to go through that and see if there's anything worth keeping. Uh, here's a Borg bath scale. Weighing yourself is futile. Clairol Pro Dryer. Who knows? And then the other fun thing I got today was this. I got three of these, all in their original packaging. This is a gun that shoots ketchup. So you can put ketchup on your hot dog if you so desire. It also looks like Eddie Valiant's gun from Roger Rabbit if it was painted gray. So... There's the swap meet finds for today. How about that? Violent video games pound away. 
Since their humble birth in Nolan Bushnell's garage eight years ago, video games have grown increasingly violent. All the little mocky desades among us have spawned and gleefully indulged in such games as Freeway, where chickens try to cross a hazardous LA freeway during rush hour, no less, while you try to run them down. Wow, that's hilarious. That is great. That is from 1983. They're already talking about violent video games. They're talking about Activision's freeway for the Atari 2600. So violent. Just so you know, at the uh, Beverly Center, it is Smurf Week. They're the lovable creatures, and they're so collectible. If you can guess how many Smurfs are locked up in Gargamel's cage at Intellitoys, you can win a prize from the land of Smurfs. 1983. And here's an ad for Licorice Pizza. Look at that. Think Licorice Pizza first for all your music. All their convenient locations. And I went to the one here at the Norwalk Square. Wow. It's June 1983, so of course you can see Return of the Jedi. In these theaters, look at that. Return of the Jedi. And see, you can cut this ad out and probably sell it for $15. Put it in a plastic sleeve. You can see Return of the Jedi. You can see War Games with Matthew Broderick and Ali Sheedy. Or over here, James Bond with Maude Adams in Octopussy. Look at that. Not a very good Bond movie. I did not care for this one. This is the one that ends with him as a clown. Very strange movie. But I do love James Bond. Let's see what else we got here. Trading Places, now playing. One of the best comedies of all time. And uh, look, there's a picture of James Bond in the clown makeup I was just talking about. How funny. That's him uh, disarming the nuclear bomb at the end. Chained heat. What these women did to get into this prison is nothing compared to what they'll do to get out. Chained heat. Psycho 2. Oh, you having your coffee? I'm having my coffee. Did you show off my dolls? Oh, this is, this is Rachel's oh, haul. Four. four American Girl well, dolls. Okay, first of all, this one needs repair, obviously. But she's a pleasant company. Now, what are you going to name her? Isn't she so beautiful. Well, she has a name, so we're going to stick with Molly. Because I, what, what did I want to call her? I don't like your silly joke. Eileen. Because she only has one leg, so her name is Eileen. Not for long. She has a leg. It's just not attached. Beat her Anyways, with it. 100 and what doll? And, and I got her for 15 bucks because it's missing a leg. Hello. Totally fixable. These are the I'm going to go baby out on a limb twins. here. Bitty Baby Twins. I named them. Donnie and Marie, because I think they look like Donnie and Marie Osmond. Is that weird? Donnie I totally and Marie. See it. They are retired. You can't buy these no more. So, yay. And um, then this one. She gave us all three for 50 These retail for, I think, 70 when A they piece, did. yeah. Yeah, a piece. Well, the twins were much twins more expensive. Were more, they were, they were about in a, 200 They were in a set, a box yeah. set. Um, but I'm going to be really cool. I just went away on my Instagram page. Oh, Raffle. we'll look for that soon. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now we go back to Blue Thunder, starring Roy Scheider. Steve Martin, The Man with Two Brains. That's a great movie. It's a uh, Carl Reiner movie. Flashdance is playing. It's as far as you can go. Oh, I must have missed that one. Cafe Flesh. The time, five years after the nuclear war. The Survivors. Post-nuke thrill freaks looking for a kick in Cafe Flesh. Uh, we can go to the Ren Fair. You want to go see the Ren Fair? The 21st Annual Ren Fair is being held. And then, oh, the new Baronet is playing Dawn of the Dead and all that jazz. The Exorcist. Oh, and Lenny with Dustin Hoffman about Lenny Bruce. That's a good one. And apparently I am going to Paris this summer on Pan Am. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, isn't it great? These ads are great. These are just great. 
LA's hottest lady, Dusty Street. Congratulations on your second anniversary at KROQ from all your friends at the 321. Wow, look at this. It's 1983, and you could go see the Divinals. Long before I Touch Myself was their hit. Look, there you are, the Divinals. How funny. This this actually will make you make you cry. They're they're advertising Spando Ballet, the Dead Kennedys, Friday, June twenty fourth with DOA. And are you ready? At the Florentine Gardens, New Order. Oh, that must have been so cheap. Cause the Florentine Gardens is not like a big venue. Rachel, would you like to have seen New Order? At the Florentine Gardens? Not the Florentine Gardens, but I saw them. Probably that same year. Wow. Dead Kennedys. Holiday in Cambodia. Who else we got? The Divinals performing live. And uh, U2 is playing with the Alarm at the sports arena. Wow. Look at all these bands. Oh, Jack Mack and the Heart Attack is playing... Do you know who Jack Mack and the Heart Attack is, Rachel? No. Do you know why that they're special to me? She's ignoring me. I'm talking in on Josie. She's been at a sleepover since yesterday. Jack Mack and the Heart Attack is the guy who sings Johnny Be Good in Back to the Future. Oh. Isn't that great? Oh, you can see R.E.M. And the new Duran Duran video album. Oh, Fun Boy 3. You want to see Fun Boy 3? Club 321 is going to have Ladies Night, UB40, and uh, Richard Blade. Ah, to go back in time, just for a week. 